Eagle walked with eagles. Lion also walked with lions. Successful people also walk with the successful. Let me tell you this truth. The person you are angry onto that you think will bring you success in the future might be the wrong person you are angry onto. He or she might be the person who will draw you back in life if you don't have a discerning spirit. Today, allow me to reveal to you those people who are drawing you back in life. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Before I show you the kind of people who are drawing you back in life, let me share the keyword that summarizes today's topic. The keyword today says, let them go. Those who bully you, let them go. Those who hate you, let them go. Those who don't believe in you, let them go. Those who say you can't make it, let them go. Those who say your dream is too big to be achieved, let them go. Those who say you are not beautiful, let them go. Those who backbite negatively about your personality, let them go. But don't hate them. Just see them as your five-minute friends. Always say hello to them. Go your way to focus more on your dream. They will soon come to ask you how you achieve your big dreams. They will soon praise your God with you. In this century we are in today, many people have been disappointed by friends, parents, children, family members. If we all love each other, there will not be political uproar, there will not be divorce in our environment, there will not be killing in our environment. Who are your friends? Do you know if they are fake or true friend? A fake friend is someone who pretends to be your friend but he or she just uses you for their benefit. On the other hand, a true friend is someone who has your back no matter what. They watch out for you and ensure you are not in danger. They will never purposely lead you into making decisions that aren't good for you. A true friend will always have your best interest at heart. When we look at Jesus' lifestyle, Jesus picked his disciples using his discerning spirit. Jesus never looked at the disciple character before he picked them. He never looked at the kind of job they do. But what he saw in their inner mind is what made Jesus to pick the twelve as his disciple. If you want to go far in life, you got to have inner eyes, discerning gifts to choose the right spouse, the right friend to work with. Let me go straight to the point. I'm going to share five signs to know if your friends are fake. Number one, if your inner eyes is very active and you have the discerning spirit, naturally you will know that your friends are fake. Like Jesus, when he was at the table trying to re eat the last supper with his disciples, his discerning spirit made Jesus to know that Judas is a fake friend. So if your natural instinct or your discerning gift tell you that somebody is a fake friend beside you, let them go. You will love them, but never hate them. Let them be your five minutes friend by saying hello, hi to them whenever you see them. The number two sign to know that your friends are fake is they cut you off immediately. Maybe when you see them and you say hello to them, you just say hi. Or if you say how are you to them, you say fine. And they take off their eyes. They never want to talk to you. That's another sign 
to know that your friends are fake. The third sign to let you know that your friends are fake is through their body language. If you look at your friend closely, do they talk to you smiling, looking into your eyes, enjoying your company? But if you call your friend a friend and when the friend is talking to you, they refuse to look at your face, they just want to get out of your presence immediately. That is a sign to let you know they are fake friends. The fourth sign that we show that your friends are fake is that they ask for your favor most of the time. But when you ask for their favor, they turn their back on you. Look at Jesus Christ. He watches his disciples' feet. He never look at them as his slave. He have a good rapport with them by talking to them as a good friend. Nobody knows that Jesus is the head among his disciples. Due to Jesus' humanity, he dresses like his disciples. They could not recognize him on the day they came to arrest Jesus. That is a true friend. When your friend asks for your favor, help me to do this, help me to do that, every single time. But when you ask them for a favor and they refuse to do, that is a sign that you have a fake friend. And the last sign to know that your friends are fake is this. They secretly compete with you. They secretly copy you. For example, this is how you know. When they notice your progress, they congratulate you sharply. But deep inside of them, they want to be you. Also, when you buy clothes, they buy the same. When you have an idea and you start working on the idea, they will also tell you they have the same idea and your instinct is working properly. That is how you will notice that this your friend is fake trying to steal your identity. When you see this kind of people, let them go. Don't hate them. You can pray for them for their inner eyes to be open, but don't be close to them. They will draw you back in life. In conclusion, the Bible made us understand that we should watch and pray. So my advice today is for you to always watch and pray. And when you watch and pray, God will always lead you to the right people that will lead you, that will support you to your promised land. These people might not be around you. They might be in the book you read. They might be online on the YouTube you watch. They might be your trainer. A good friend that will lead you and support you to go to your promised land will come your way definitely one day. But let your spiritual antenna be open. I hope this encourages you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon. God bless.